Okay, so it's a rainy, horrible day in Taswija. So uh, we decided we'd go for a drive and just sell some of our non-ferry scooties. And we don't actually have to drive to the scrapyard to get the same kind of prices as this. We're actually classified as a vendor, so they um, pick up from our property. We don't actually have to send anything, but we wanted to go and have a look at the goings on in their yard, check things out. I'm recording this video backwards. I've actually been paid. We're left. We're leaving the place now. Um, prices were high. Uh, we definitely put uh, the work into sorting uh, our waste, um, and just the sorting of the waste is uh, extremely beneficial because the guy gave us a price up, like a scale up on most of the things that I'm about to show you. Um, Price-wise, um, so yeah, we did. We've done quite well out of this shoot load. Um, literally, we're in the Triton. There was a 44-gallon drum, three, four plastic recycling tubs, and a polystyrene box. Um, the total weight is only 227 kilos, and uh, we're going to pay two wages for the week. So yeah, it's good, good money. Um, I'll show you a bit of the yard that I stealthily filmed because you're not meant to film there of us getting our weigh and pay done, and then we'll go through the weigh and pay. So here's that. A lot of people have uh, their scrap runs on YouTube showing you their epic paydays of their ute load of pressing steel and uh, barbecues. Um, we're going for a much different product in what we're doing here. We will be doing a bit with um, pressing steel and stuff, but we'll be doing it by the truckload because uh, it's not worth anything. That's actually a byproduct of our job. So we'll uh, go through the weigh and pay now. So we're at the scales, a bit of a scrap run today. I like this guy. Okay, so every week I get sent price lists and things like that, but the lady was nice enough to actually write the prices that she'd worked it out on on my uh, on my docket for me. So um, I see a lot of people in America, they actually tear in and tear out with their vehicle over and over again. I just literally pulled up to a gate, the man weighed all my stuff and uh, give me a uh, docket, sent me on my way and said, thank you, here's, uh, here's what's getting direct deposited. So let's start at the top. Brass solids clean. So uh, our mate at the yard there, he's gone and plucked out two kilos here of uh, stuff that was painted. Apparently the painted stuff is a lot less valuable to China or wherever they send it. So they give us $6.15 a kilo for all the neater brass. We had 62 kilos, which netted us $381. Yes, some of these won't be exact down to cents. We didn't bother. I don't actually care that much. It's not gonna add up to much over the sake of this whole um, thing. So yeah, six fifteen a kilo for clean brass solids. So that's your plumbing brass that's tidy, no crap in it. Our mixed brass, we got five ninety a kilo. So it's only eleven dollars. Our Milbury copper, so that is stripped copper, fresh, bright, shiny, as good as it gets, pretty well. Uh, we got ten sixty five a kilo for that. We had twelve, so one hundred and twenty seven bucks. Now, because we only sort the best copper we weren't going to bring domestic today we're going to melt the domestic but we had 600 odd kilos of it so we thought we'd sell some just to bring some money in and uh, we got rid of some domestic but we cut absolutely everything we can out of our domestic and only leave the domestic as crap so because it's two dollars a kilo ish better we uh, really like to go for the best we can. So we were expecting we were going to get refinery, not refinery candy, just refinery for our uh, 75 kilos that we had in the 44 gal drum. He gave us 10.55, so he's actually given us bright price. So that is 10 cents cheaper than as good as it gets copper wise. So he's given us a ripper price there. So that 44 gallon drum is $791. And like that's full of copper tube. That's just, it's air. But refinery candy, that was a incoming power cable to a house that we stripped last night. He's given us a good price for this, even though we thought it was going to be burnt. So we graded it as burnt, but it ended up as refinery candy. So 
very good value 144 for that domestic copper we had three hundred eight dollars worth of domestic copper for 37 kilos same thing um, still a good price like that's covered in solder and contaminants there was still foam on the outside of the um, hot water cylinder drum that it was in because you can't get it off without burning it and we don't like burning things and then our last one is aluminium extrusions these are all heat sinks out of computer components and uh, heat pumps inverted drive boards out of heat pumps and another 46 bucks out of them just like that eighteen hundred and eight dollars so if you go and get yourself an ABN and go and get yourself a uh, ute and some basic can tools which we're going to show you how to do exactly this called this grinders golden what else good side cutters pair of metal cutting shears like the one uh, not metal cutting shears um, copper cable cutting shears the ones with the hook shape in them so you can cut decent cable a 200 and a crowbar $250 wire stripper like if you invested 600 bucks on some bits 800 bucks under a thousand under a thousand Australian on some gear you will have no problem making that money back just by stuff you can find pick up clean up from friends places we're going to show you how there's there's a whole playlist for our YouTube channel um, which is just um, there's going to be an e-waste one and a scrapping one I've spent 10 grand so far investing in gear to do this work so we're going to be able to do it at scale quite fast we've got awesome scales we've got the crane scales we've got the hammer mill we've got the shaky table all the stuff to go with that and we loaded the heavy drum the blue drum there with the excavator because you know why not it's been a fun friday drive we're gonna go find something to eat and uh cruise on back to town and uh yeah any questions fire away if you uh get better prices where you are by all means put them in the comments and tell me where you're getting your better prices but thanks for watching that was through sims metal management um and it's literally 200 kilos so you can put that on the back of any vehicle in the back of most vehicles very easy just cruise down here with the triton it's a good way to uh see out your uh rainy friday good way to finish the week catch us in the next video